everyone hello guys how's it going and uh, today I'll be showing you guys a little bit of the IK functionality I've been trying to figure and I just recently figured it out I didn't really figure it out all by myself you know some guy I, uh, I don't really remember remember his name I'm sorry for that but he actually gave the idea of this really nice recast thingy you know which is usually used in almost all games Modern parkour games, especially Assassin's Creed, where the hands are just uh, snapped to the object uh, when the when the character is grabbing onto the object or something like that, and really kind of um, makes it look realistic and really really good. And that's what is really the thing. So as you can see here, we have our character, and his feet and his hands are being snapped without any animation, no use of animations. It's not just one idle animation there was, and that animation is being overrided using IK itself. <clears throat> this is Mechanim, yes, MD5 I'm using currently. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, you can see, first off, you have the feet. You don't really need to, just, I'm using recast, but you're never too sure. Uh, and one thing is for sure, you don't need to just, uh, Rotation because I really kind of messed around with that. I had to add a offset to multiply the rotation values, which were being returned by the rays hit dot normal value, and uh, and I'm not sure that's too clean, but I suppose that's pretty okay. Okay, so uh, just simple recasting into the wall, and if you're hitting it, just position. Positioning your feet using the hit dot point value. <clears throat> then we have the hands. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Uh, as for the hands, we have two recasts from the top of the player. As you can see, the player is about you know its main. Uh, you can say pivot is right there and uh, above it, about one point five meter or something, or one one meter. I know. We're casting this ray. And it's been casted to left side downwards and right side downwards. And it's not being actually casted right there. I just kind of draw that, you know, uh, wrongly and updated the debug array values. It's being actually casted right there. Right there. Wherever the hands are placed. Actually, maybe a little bit back. Uh, or forward. Yeah, forward, not back. Forward. So uh we have these and as you can see they're being hitting. They're they're hitting this object. Now maybe wondering that maybe I'm just setting it using some kind of object or something, you know, where I'm referring to images just simply setting it. No, I'm not doing that way. Uh this, these are actual break casts, and as you can just see <clears throat> the character it sets them off. It really kind of uh, looks like it's just static. But if I'm moving away from the wall, this goes out of the position real suddenly. And as you can just see, they are being re updated real time. The hands don't change their Z, Z position, you can say. Okay, the feet, they are supposed to change it, however, because the rays are being casted from above, the hands don't really have to change their Z axis. You can do that using the offset values from here. So let's take a look at the script. We have use IK, basically just another way to turn on and on off the IK anytime. And, uh, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so, uh, we were on this variable, so after the use IK, you can really transition into the, you know, you can really transition the weights from 0 to 1 using mathhab.lurk. Whenever you want, for example, the character gets onto the wall, then you just kind of, uh, smoothly turn the weight from 0 to 1. Okay, instead of just kind of, uh, jumping it off like it as it does as you can see okay so just like that and you can really kind of work that around and you might be wondering why the fingers are not being so much perfectly aligned yes they're not perfectly aligned okay they're being uh, they're really kind of intersecting really not too much perfectly matched but yeah, Unity's IK is not the best solution. The solution which I came across, which really kind of worked, you can say, like, like a charm or something, was the final IK, and, uh, if you really want, if you're really serious about this IK, and you really want, uh, best IK solutions ever, then you can really use the final IK. 
So, uh, yeah. So we have this now. We have a few four variables. Booleans or bool. And, uh, left hand hits. These are just simple checks. If the raycast is actually hitting an object, then they just turn true and, uh, they just turn on the specific, um, you can say IK for that specific limb or something like feet, hand or something. So for example, this red ray, if it is not hitting anything, as you can see, the IK for this just turns off. If it is hitting anything, then it turns on. It's just simple as that. And then for the hands, as you can see, just turns off. And then we have this, the, you know, this thingy and it just kind of goes down. And I don't know, <laughs> that's quite weird. But uh, you can just kind of turn it off by run. You can just kind of limit the distance checking of this. You don't want the distance checking to be that much. And as you can see, that's the way it just kind of gets off. And then in, uh, it's quite really, you know, you can use it that way too. A little bit like that. And um, yeah, that's actually pretty funny too. <laughs> okay, and uh, we're pretty much set up on that and uh, all. And I haven't tried the rotation thingy, they're not too good, as you can see, the recast, they don't work too good for the rotation. Position is still being matched. Um, as you can just see, I have, I've still have to work around the rotation, I've been working on diagonals, I haven't tried working on diagonals yet. So, uh, I'll keep them, you guys updated with my progress. And yeah, so that's pretty much I got for you guys. And I also have a few values here, the left hand position, right hand position, and all these four positions are stored into a vector and they're actually returned using a raycast, which is being cast from right there, not there. Right there, right off the ledge, right from the player's pivot, like about 0.5, and then, uh, uh, you know, 0.5 on the Z, and about 1.5 or more on the Y, and they're being casted from there to there, you know, up to down and in the right side and then the left side so the hands are properly positioned and they're not like uh joined together the same position. And you can work around that. Like maybe make it a little bit more high or something. And you can also offset the values as I said. Okay, so for the offset you have a few variables here. We have the left hand offset, right hand offset, we have the left foot position offset, right foot position offset, and the rotation offsets as you can just see. Uh, the rotation offset, as I said, rotation is not a good thing to actually get the rotation through the raycasts. Because in most cases they're always the same. The position can also, uh, therefore, or however can be calculated, the raycasts for the feet aligning. And then we can also change the position as I said. Just kind of uh, work around. If you're not really liking it, you can change it up. Maybe you're not liking the Y, you can change that up. Then, okay, you know, kind of maybe a little bit up. You're not liking that, you can change that up. Everything that kind of works really nicely. Really smooth. And yes, the Z thingy doesn't work. That is just like uh, Z position offset will work, but the other Z thingy will not work, which is basically the you know automatic matching or uh, matching on the z-axis will not work. So you just need to calculate the best position for your player when matching the wall, how far or near he should be to the wall's position or whatever, and that way you can, you know, set the hands offset accordingly to that. And yeah, that's pretty much I've got for you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, do tell me if there's any better way for working on this, you know, maybe this is not the best solution ever, you know, in the entire world, there may be better solutions, so if you have, if you guys have any better solutions or anything like that, then please do tell me, uh, uh, it'll be, I'll appreciate that, and yeah, thanks for watching, and if you guys want a tutorial on this, then I'll be really grateful to make one, I'll leave your suggestions in the comments, or message me, and uh, tell me if you want a tutorial. Alright, so that's it. See you guys. And